And the mission of it is to nurture potential, rescue the harmed, and protect the earth. A good foundation. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 116. Mind, body, and spirit. Living your best life. It's Hunt for Wellness. With John and Christy Hunt. Hello and uh, welcome to Hunt for Wellness. I'm John Hunt. And I'm Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we l- help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. A good foundation. It sounds like that old hymn, a firm foundation. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Jesus Christ is the firm foundation. Yes, he is for our life. That is. Yeah, but we're not talking about that really today. (laughs) We're talking about um, a charitable foundation. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, And, Mm -hmm. you know, there are a lot of charitable foundations that have spiritual underpinnings, but uh, we're going to talk about the Young Living Foundation. Right. The D. Gary Young Young Living Foundation. Yes. And, you know, foundations are um, interesting entities. They're, they're kind of like businesses, but they're not because okay. they don't, they're not, their goal is not to make a profit. Their goal is to do good, build something good, uh, take in donations and use those dona- donations to do something good without having to worry about making a profit. Okay. So, um, I'm sure that's how. So the, it's a shelter for money to go out to yeah. do good. Yeah. And a lot of companies, you know, will have their regular company, mm-hmm. like Young Living has its regular company, but the foundation is totally separate. Yes. It's uh, the people that run Young Living don't have, you know, they can't tell the foundation what to do. The foundation has its own board of directors. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but what Young Living, the corporation does with a percentage of its profits. Mm-hmm. They pour into that foundation as well as the brand partners, the people who um, are involved in the business side of Young Living, mm-hmm. uh, take a percentage of whatever they want to do. They can they can choose how much they want to donate to the foundation, and actually even customers, yes, can do that. Right? Mm-hmm. If we we, yes. we look at the um, the order form when you're um, checking out with your mm-hmm. order, uh, you can support the foundation. Right. It says donate to those in need or donate to a child in need. Yeah. And usually it's a dollar. That's like the automatic thing. And if a person made, you know, 12 orders a year, like once a month, Mm -hmm. um, that's $12. Yeah. Which is not like going to break anybody's bank. Yeah. um, But it can really help. Actually, they say that really helps a lot. Yeah. You know, if you get a lot of people Mm -hmm. doing just a little Mm-hmm. That can make a big difference. So, right. and that is tax deductible. I'm assuming too. Mm-hmm. So, um, anyway, the next time you place an order, if you're a Young Living customer, uh, just look at the bottom of that order form, and you can make a donation if you want. Yes. But we should tell them what what would they be donating to? Right. The D. Well, the D. Gary Young Foundation. Right. The D. Gary Young Young Living <laughs> Foundation. Foundation. It's yes. kind of got a long name. A lot of Youngs. <laughs> It does. And the mission of it is to nurture potential, rescue the harmed, and protect the earth. Nice. Which is very cool. And so how it got started was in 2009, Gary Young was building the Finca Botanica farm in Ecuador. And he was driving by an abandoned building, or so he thought, every day on the way to the farm from where he was staying. And... One day he saw children around it and he stopped and he's like, oh my goodness, this is a school. And it just looked so bad. Mm. And he's dialoguing with his wife, Mary, and he's like, we have got to do something. She's like, what are you going to (laughs) do? And he's like, I'm going to build a school. I'm going to build them a new school. This is, you know, so bad. Mm -hmm. And so that is exactly what he did. He built the Young Living Academy in Guacayal, Ecuador, which is a poor area of Ecuador. And um, he made it K through 12th grade. 
Hmm. And typical school in Ecuador goes to eighth grade. That's kind of what the government supplies hmm. to eighth grade. And then if anybody wants to go beyond that, they have to pay themselves. But a lot of people can't because they they don't have the funds. And these young people who are high school age, you know, they can work. Yeah. So... So what Young Living does is this this school is in high demand currently it takes in 300 students but they have a huge waiting list and they interview every single family not just the student the family the family to um make sure that they're going to support their student as a student and allow them time to do their homework and not take them out of school for work you know, because all these there's a lot of people who want to go to this school, mm-hmm. and they have 100 percent graduation rate. Wow, which is incredible. And the the typical, I didn't look at it recently, but I it was like 25 percent in Ecuador of that graduate from high school. Right. It was very low. It well, might I heard, be I less heard than a, that. A statistic recently that. In I think it's Baltimore, Maryland, is one of the poorest performing school districts in America, mm-hmm. and not many kids graduate. Really, from high school? Yeah, it's really sad. So, anyway, um, you know, education is one of those things that if you can get a decent education, it gives you opportunity in the future right it's a that's a foundation right there an education is a good foundation for a future it is absolutely it really is so so they make sure that the family is behind supporting the student Mm -hmm. and um then they apply and then young living the foundation chooses or the school chooses who's going to come. Mm-hmm. And since there is such a big wait list, they are expanding the school to for 900 students. Wow. So in the process of expansion right now, um, which is so cool. Mm-hmm. And they have, um, you can actually support one of these students if you want right. to. Sponsor a student. Yeah, you can yeah. sponsor a student. So um, it's a world-class education in an area where children are prone to dropping out before graduation. Mm-hmm. They get school supplies, nutritious school meals, and because Gary Young is so interested in health and wellness, there is no sugar in nice. these meals. Isn't that cool? They probably have the einkorn uh, breakfast. Crunch. And, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so they have nutritious school meals. I believe it's lunch, breakfast and lunch. Uniforms, mm. resources that they need to succeed. They have a curriculum that com- uh, fosters confidence, teamwork, leadership skills, both inside and outside the classroom. And there is a community-wide impact by empowering these students to engage in community service and enhancement projects. And really, they have uplifted the whole area, Mm. especially with their farm providing good work with good wages um, for people that didn't have it before. And at the Young Living Convention, we've seen many of these students come and talk to us um, usually through an interpreter, sometimes not. Um, It's been amazing. And a lot of them go on to college, to university, and they tell them, you are going to be the future leaders of Ecuador. Wow. Which they they are, Mm -hmm. you know, because they're educated and they believe they can do things. Yeah. And they want to be doctors and lawyers and, and various things like that. So anyone can sponsor a student. And so when you log into your youngliving.com and sign in, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the screen and you will see the Young Living Foundation at the bottom. And you can click on that and learn more. Yeah. And it's a whole separate uh, website. We can put a link on it too. It's Mm younglivingfoundation.org. And you probably don't need to be a customer to support this, but um, you know, if you buy your products through Young Living, you know, not only do you get great products, but also part of what the corporation does is supports this as well. So, you know, you can kind of a double whammy. If you support and you buy products from Young Living, they also support this as well. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, I know in the corporate world, 
uh, corporate responsibility and, you know, uh, supporting things like this is very key. Um, and, you know, it's more than about just making money. You know, right. you want to make a difference. In exactly. Lives. I yeah. mean, it's we. Why do we make money? Well, we right. make money to support ourselves, right. our family, our loved ones, and then yes, to make a difference and to care for other people. Yeah, and a foundation again, like we talked about before, is not into making money; they're into making a difference. Yes, but of course, you need money for everything. Right. So you know, if you can do that extra donation um, when you do your order, uh, you can. Give directly to them if you want. Uh, it's just really a, a great thing. It really is. It really is. I've been so impressed. So there's three areas that nurture potential. Okay. And that is um, providing marginalized communities with access to education and enterprise opportunities. Mm -hmm. And the two areas that prove to ignite sustainable change in the lives of beneficiaries and those um, around them. And so... They're, I would say one of their big things is this Young Living Academy, but they actually support a lot of um, organizations mm -hmm. that help the marginalized, you know. And so, like, around Christmas time, we often, there's an ornament that is a gift with purchase, and there's, um, I've gotten, like, their bracelets that they've mm -hmm. had that have been made by women in these challenging areas and this is their business where they mm -hmm. create things and then young living buys them pays them good wages and sells them so when you see like a young living foundation like product such as the bracelet with an essential oil paired mm -hmm. with it yeah. get that because that is also not only blessing you and you can give it as a gift too but it's also blessing those that are receiving payment for making the products right which is really cool. I love that. And so that is the nurturing potential, which is also the education piece mm -hmm. of it that we were talking about. And they, they do a lot. I, I can't even go into all of it, but you can check it out. We just want to give you a, a summary. Um, they also uh, protect the earth. And so what they what they say about that is they that nature and local communities have always guided us. And with this perspective, we believe we can make a difference to deepen the movement for a livable planet that works for everyone. And sometimes, um, so it says, more than planting trees and protecting our land, our programs also focus on improving the ecological integrity of an area in order to enhance human well-being. Hmm. You know, so they're not only just focusing on, you know, conservation and protecting habitat for animals and such, but also people. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like this conservation doesn't take in people. People. Right. Just, you know? Yeah. And so um, that is really cool. They have, you can find out more about that, but they are very concerned. They have a seed bank the Utah Seed Bank, they are um, always like planting more than they're taking. Mm -hmm. And obviously this is a business that uses plants yeah. and trees. Mm -hmm. And so like the sandalwood, um, the sandalwood trees are mostly dead, the ones that they take to use, mm. which is very interesting. And yeah. then they're always replanting and reforesting. So amazing and then the other thing is rescuing the harmed mm. which oh my goodness since 2016 they have been committed to helping victims of abuse and survivors of labor and sexual exploitation mm. uh, we partner with a program that tackles prevention rescue recovery reintegration and policy reform with the ultimate goal of enabling freedom healing and sustainable independence mm -hmm. and so um often at the convention there is a huge fundraiser for the young living foundation and we've had hope for justice there um which has is huge part that's their whole plan is rescuing mm -hmm. the harmed um and it is it's amazing they often raise a hundred thousand dollars or to to help the foundation and help these people. 
Awesome. Well, is there anything else before we sign off again? Just how you, uh, if you want to find out more information, go to Young Living Foundation. Dot org. We'll have a link to that in our show notes over at huntforwellness.com. This is episode 116. And uh, check it out because uh, there's so much good being done. And this is because of, really because of you buying the products mm-hmm. to help Young Living have extra money to put into a foundation, uh, but also the extra donation that you make at the bottom of your order form. And uh, it's just amazing. It is money well given it is and in the beginning i didn't really know yeah I'm like what is this you know uh and so i didn't give because i didn't know what it was right. and yeah. then i checked into what they're doing where they're giving it yes. i'm like oh wow this is very good and what also young living does is they supply all the money for running the foundation mm. so everyone's donation actually goes to helping yeah. people it doesn't go to running the foundation administrative cost yeah yes. you see a lot of some of them have like up to 20 30 percent of what they bring in is just administrative oh really yeah so you wow. have to check that out as well but here you don't have to worry about that 100 percent of your donation goes straight into the programs that they're providing through the foundation yes. And, you know, God wants us to help the poor. Yes. And this is helping the poor. It is. Um, and Mary Young says, money in the hands of good people does good. It does. Yes. And she also says that the foundation is mainly funded by the brand partners of Young Living. Yeah. Which is also very cool. So I love this foundation. I love that we can support and help people. This is a way to do it. Um, also there's another opportunity that if you have a situation where I want to raise money for a certain project, Mm -hmm. um, maybe locally that you're dealing with, the foundation can match that. Mm. So you can check that out online, um, going to that younglivingfoundation.org and, um, find that matching program. Right. Yeah. And as long, you know, I think as long as it fits within the criteria of yes. their, you know, you the, have to apply the areas, right? Yes. Yes. May not be like raising money for the marching band. No, I don't no. think so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's for, for helping the poor. Yeah. Literally. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that provide great water for your great wellness. Check it out at waterdistillers.com. And I think this show was a good foundation for what we've got coming up the rest of this year. Lots of good shows. Yes. But you'll have to come back to find out what they are. And you can do that on the next episode of Hunt for Wellness. Thank you for listening to Hunt for Wellness. If you'd like your free 15-minute consultation, head over to huntforwellness.com and come back next time for Hunt for Wellness.